Welcome to the Long Road with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And what are we doing today? We're going to go into Aldi and get some groceries. All right, let's do it. So we're going to start here with this. Uh, I need five apples for our recipe. And so um, I'm going to get this three pound one. And if those pieces are a little small, then I'll just throw in a few more than five. It's $3.49. And we're grabbing one can of diced tomatoes at 79 cents per can. And we're getting some two chicken broths for $1.89 each. We are getting some pecan halves for a recipe. Um, according to their own math, the smaller pack is cheaper than the bulk size. Rotel for 85 cents per can. All right, so we grab one Colby Jack cheese for $1.99. And two, these are, um, what size? Eight ounces? Yeah. Two eight ounce of the cheddar. All right, so all done at Aldi. Yep. And uh, we're gonna put the total right there. I think it was $24.52. Yeah, for like six things. <laughs> uh, we did buy pecans and those are not cheap. Yep. All right, so now we're heading into Walmart to finish up. Hey, we're grabbing one pizza. Yeah. and one elf sour cream. We're grabbing this right here, um, $12.38, but we have an I bought a rebate for $1.50, which makes it cheaper than the Pepsi. So we, we went with Coke this time. So they're out again. So we're gonna have to get this here. Yeah. $4.68 and we'll only get one since the box is bigger and more expensive, we'll just get one instead of two. And, oh, we had something. Oh, bag of Cheetos. How much were they? $4.48. $4.98. Okay, we're grabbing one can of this for $1.94. Okay, this is one of, again, one of those things you gotta watch out for. This says $4.68. Same product here, same size, $4.98. Um, when you scan it, it's $4.98. So I don't know why they haven't, they have it in two different places with two different prices, but. Okay, we grabbed two chickens. We needed one for one, uh, one recipe, actually two recipes, because we'll use it three, probably about three nights worth of meals. And the price was dollar. A dollar twenty-four per pound. Not as good as it used to be, but it is what it is. Did we do the cornmeal? No, no, no. Uh, we are starting to buy some stuff for Thanksgiving dinner, so we got some cornmeal for cornbread dressing. Obs got two of those uh, for to make sure that we have enough for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, I already showed that. Showed that. I think we showed that. You did the fire roasted corn. I did the fire roasted corn. I think I did that. So we're up to date then. Just, we got some how okay, got some Halloween candy for trick-or-treaters because we thought maybe we wouldn't be at home on Halloween night, but it turns out, yes, we will. We're not going anywhere, so just in case we have trick-or-treaters, I just wanted to do a taste test on well, taste test. I don't know that I'm gonna record that. I'm just gonna eat it. But I want to see what it tastes like because I like candy corn. But this is my favorite, pumpkins. Okay, and one French bread as always for son to make himself some French bread pizzas. Hmm, that's a dollar forty-seven. All right, we're picking up one bag of the red baby potatoes. Three dollars and forty-seven. Seven two russet potatoes and. Can't see it, but Joel said it's 98 cents per pound. We'll put the total on the screen. Okay, and we got two heads of broccoli. They're $1.87 per pound. These are kind of small, so they may not be that much. Okay, and we got some rolls here. We got the 20 count, and it was $7.28. All right, so there's our Walmart haul, and it was $97.54. Now, about 25 of that was Halloween candy, and I think the win this year yeah. was that this is the first time we bought Halloween candy uh, and we didn't buy some early in the month and eat it, middle of the month and eat it, late in the month and eat it, and then two days before and almost eat it. 
before two Halloween. Days. So. In other words, two days go go out and have to buy more because we yeah. ate all the candy before. So we waited until two days before Halloween to actually buy it. So Yeah. So, so growth. Growth. All right. Yeah. So yeah, we just bought the one bag and, and of course the pumpkins are for us because you can't get that out as trick or treat. But, but you know, yep. it's pumpkins. <laughs> all right. So let's go on to the meal plan. You're shaking your head. Oh no, here's our um, total. Our total from Aldi, our total for the week, and then what we have left over from the month, and that's our six hundred dollar budget uh, for three adults. Oh yes, and we also stocked up just a little bit on some Thanksgiving <clears throat> goodies. So yep. uh, be watching for some recipes over the month of November, November that are all going to be side, uh, not the first Wednesday, but after that, uh, will all be side dishes for Thanksgiving dinners or Christmas. Okay. However you want to do it. All right. All right. So we're going to have some, we're actually going to start with leftovers because we made um, Cajun sausage, potatoes, and green beans uh, in a slow cooker. And so we got leftovers of that. So we're going to start with that. Okay. And then uh, we're going to do bacon fried rice. Uh, then we're going to do some Cajun chicken strips. Um, and oh, by the way, if you see a little icon that says recipe alert, that means that that recipe has been shared on this channel before and you can find it down in our recipe playlist. If you do not see that recipe alert icon, you can vote on it to be the recipe of the week. Um, like I said, it's going to be side dishes in November and December is going to be, uh, desserts. But in January is when you'll want to start watching for those specific recipes to start getting shared. Yep. So if you want to see it, go ahead and vote and make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss when we upload the actual recipe. That's right. Okay. So then we're going to do uh, Mexican beef and rice. Yep. Uh, and then we always have leftovers of that. So we'll have leftovers next day. And then we'll have a uh, spatchcock chicken. Mm-hmm. And uh, then we're going to have some homemade pizza because it'll be Saturday. And then we're going to take the leftover chicken and we're going to do a Rotel chicken soup. Yep. And we may record that this time. So y'all may be seeing that come January, right. that Rotel chicken soup. Yeah. We've so. been kind of perfecting it the last two times. Yeah, making so we, sure. think we, we think we got it. We think we got it right this yeah, time. Yeah. I think so. Okay. This time we need to actually <coughs> make notes. Yeah. So <laughs> drop us a comment below and uh, let us know which you'd like to vote on for the recipe of the week. If you have a recipe you'd like us to try. Uh, we'd be willing to check it out. Uh, we don't do everything. We don't eat everything. And uh, if not, then we'll link them a video. Um, we'll try to find a video. Try to find a video mm -hmm. that um, that has the recipe that you that you would like if we don't try it. Yes. Okay. All right. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for updates when we upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes on the weekend, sometimes in between. Just kind of never know we're going to drop one in there. But with that said, that's going to do it today for the long run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And don't kiss the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.